Hello guys, welcome back. This is Chris Baraka and family. So today we have quite a video that is going to be a bit shocking on some of the clips that I'm about to share with you. It's actually an expose of uh, my, Pastor Mike Todd and also Pastor Jamal Bryan. Just some very weird things that are going uh, on in New Bath Church and also in the Transformational Church. So we'll start with uh, a clip where now Celestio is calling them out. But now apart from that, we'll just get into some very crazy things. Just some very cl crazy clips of what's going around in those churches so if it's your first time probably coming across this platform or for whatever reason you always watch the videos but you've never taken the time to hit on that subscribe button so today i'm just asking you to kindly hit on that subscribe button it's free of charge and uh, it's always a way of extending and just saying that you know what i appreciate what you're doing so let me give you three seconds for you to be able to hit on the subscribe before we get in the video so in three, two, and one. Welcome to the family. This is Chris Baraka and family. And as usual, we are glad to have you here. For all the subscribers, everyone who's always a part of this beautiful family, I just want to say a big thank you to you and just to let you know that I love you. I love you. I love you so much. So always without further ado i'm so grateful but let's get into this beautiful video you are in a ministry that has had in the past its scandals you saw the scandals you saw how devastating they were you saw the types of crimes that were exposed in the church you excused those crimes you need to repent because god is going to judge you you saw the scandals you sat there you decided to stick it out with the compromised ministry the compromised ministry managed to pull itself up through marketing and performance back up and it's appearing to stand taller than before this would be new birth church i think that's the name of it bishop eddie long's church that is now being run by the homosexual jamal bryant and his beard wife whoever she may be if you sat in a church like that and the church was rocked by scandal showing you that god was so angry that he brought a fatal body blow against the head the thing fell a lot of people departed and now it's been remodeled and once again the root of gay is upon the stage and you are still sitting there you are still sitting in the churches of william murphy you are sitting in the churches of mike todd and that ilk stephen fertig rod parsley and that ilk and you think that because they have money and because they are the long-standing faces that you know the sort of who's who elites within the united um yeah so uh celestial has called quite a, a list right there of different pastors so on a later video i'll be able to actually get down with uh pastor william murphy because there's so many things that are going up on that but let's kick start here with uh something that's very shocking that uh, Pastor Mike Todd said I've, I've, I've been a part of a few churches like that And the truth of the matter is um, I heard it said like this Many people pick the church That they go to because of the word Sometimes you can go somewhere And the praise and worship is okay But he's like if that, if that word is coming And if it's about Jesus and if it's a, Most people pick the church That they're going to visit because of the word God picks the churches he's going to visit because of the worship. God picks the ch churches he's going to visit because of the worship. So he's saying that people pick the churches that they want to attend to because of the word. And he's saying that God picks the churches that he wants to be part of. Or I don't know what kind of selection he's saying that God does. But uh, according to he, uh, Mike Todd, he's saying that God, the reason why he picks certain churches and xyz it is because of the worship you know sometimes i always look at the worship that goes around or rather even the praise moment that goes around in so many of uh, these so-called churches and you uh, you end up confused because most of it it's rather more just on the entertainment you know it's just more rather on the entertainment rather than now the true worship because the bible says that Yes, the Bible speaks about that our God is looking for those that worship him in spirit and in truth. He didn't say 
that that is his mode or way for him to select a church. He didn't say that, you know, but God is after people who are, are, are worshiping him in spirit and in truth. So I don't know, I don't know what uh, Pastor Mike Todd meant when he said that God selects churches. I don't know what he meant by that, depending with the worship. I don't know what you meant by that. But one of the major reasons when you go out and you're selecting a church is not about just the music of that church, but rather it's about the doctrine. It's about the word. What is it about the word? Because everything about God is his word. The Bible says God and his word is one. Think about it. What is this if he don't show up? Hey, studying to preach every Sunday. It is tedious work for me. I hate it. Yeah, so what does the Bible say about studying, especially as a minister? The Bible says that as a minister, you need to study to show yourself approved. So clearly, even by that misdoctrine right there from our Pastor Mike Todd speaking about God looking for a church and everything, just shows that definitely he doesn't take time to study God's word. And he admitted right there himself, uh, he admitted that he said, that he doesn't like to study God's word, that it's a very tedious process for him. So I always tell you that these uh, people, they just expose themselves by themselves. So uh, the guy you can see right there on the screen uh, is Tim Ross. He also, uh, he has a podcast he runs and everything. It's, it's what he's about to say. So here he was invited at uh, Mike Todd's Transformation Church. And he was preaching to the crowd, but the words and the way he's going to actually bring out the message. Just listen to this. We don't make it rain on booty cheeks. We don't make it rain on strippers. We only reverence one stripper. And that's the one that took off glory to put on humanity and then get butt naked on a cross to die for both you and me. The only stripper I'm in love with is Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. You mean that is what he called the son of God? The one that took his place on that cross right there. That was a very sacred, sacred moment right there on that cross everything right there jesus was suffering all the stripes that he took for us so that we may be healed that is what he's referring to him with that word i can't even say it with my own mouth and he's the one that puts that bread in my pocket that bread and right now he just changed this topic and he started to jam on a very prosperity kind of gospel vibe saying that he's the one that put bread on my pocket you know that's just what uh he is concerned about so think about it this is uh, a guest that was brought to a transformation church this is a guest that was brought to these members of this church you know bread in my pocket that bread in my pocket yeah, it's crazy it's just been taught wrong it's one God. Everybody say one God. one God. Say it like you mean it. One God. One God. Three, expressions. Three expressions. Okay, let me, let me, okay. What is this? Water. It's water. That, 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 that's, that's what we say, but if you want to be very scientific, this is H2O. Okay? This is H2O. I'm thirsty. I'm a little strong. That's good. <laughs> let me ask you a different question. What, uh, hold on real quick. We established this is what? It's H2O. What is this? You say ice? If we go down to its basic form, this is H2O. Now, it's in a different form than the liquid version, but this still is. Uh huh. This is a different expression. So, when your drink is too warm, you don't put more water in it. It's H2O, but you put a different expression of H2O. Is that you see on the outside is usually full, fueled by that scratched on the inside. That's why people can't celebrate what God's doing at Transformation Church. 
I'm going to say it no matter what. Y'all, I'm sorry. We need to do an uncut of this. Elevation. Yeah, so you've seen that clip right there where now he has three jars and then he's explaining what now uh, it means for God to be three in one. He's talking about Trinity. And what I can just comment about that is that there's a lot of mis uh, representation of scripture right there and it's something that i've seen actually on the rise with uh mike todd actually when it comes to the doctrine the doctrine is not as it's not accurate you know it's not accurate you know doctrine needs to be accurate it needs to be accurate otherwise uh you'll be easily be swayed here and the bible saying being tossed here and there and then not coming to the knowledge of truth so Listen to uh, this short expose here about uh, Steve, Pastor Steve Partick of Elevation Church. Church is playing a very dangerous game. And I want to encourage everybody that's watching this video to pray for Pastor Furtick and those involved. I'm also making this video because Elevation Church influences a lot of believers. And this is a warning because your salvation could depend on it to not be influenced by this. Elevation Church sent Easter seeker friendly invites that omit resurrection and Calvary. One that's responsible for what Elevation says, sure. It was noted that the person said, I'm putting a lot of my focus, energy and time, resources towards what I would call cold audience, people far from God. She reiterated, I'm not going to say the word Calvary, not going to say the word resurrection, and I'm not going to say the blood of Jesus. I'm not going to say any of these words that make someone feel like an outsider. This is really an important guide for how we develop language. Anyone can be part of our church. It may, it might not be for everyone. Everyone may not like it, but anyone could come. I'm going to tell you why this is dangerous. Jesus issues a firm warning in Luke 9, 26. He says, whoever may be ashamed of me and my words, the son of man will be ashamed of him when he shall come in his glory and that of the father and of the holy angels. It was Jesus who said, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus spoke of his blood highly. Be ashamed to say this because people might not accept it is literally being ashamed of his words. If you're ashamed of him and his words, he'll be ashamed of you in front of the Father. We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb. If anyone, Satan's the one that doesn't want us saying it. Follow for more. You say that you yeah, so I've actually seen that even in a lot of gospel music. When uh, you find, uh, instead of them, uh, maybe they're singing, rather than singing about Jesus Christ, they'll just say God. So you'll just find an artist. They always just say God, 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 but you're not really sure about exactly who or which God they are talking about. Because apart from God Almighty, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, definitely there are people who worship different types of God. So it is always clear. And you know that Bible says that anyone who declares that Jesus is Lord, that's how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to declare that Jesus is Lord that Jesus is Lord of our lives. That is actually the way to salvation. But now when you see that now they are coming, they're trying to replace that with just God. That is something that you really need to stay a lot on because that just shows you that there's a lot of crazy things that might be going on that you are not aware of. So if that's what's happening right there in Elevation Church, then that's that's quite shocking right there. <laughs> So why is the pastor, the person that's leading people, the one that should be imitating Christ and causing you to do the same thing? Why is he on stage acting in such a, you know what, and maybe he's listening to some gospel music, that's fine. But the way you do, how you imitate the world, do not, as Paul tells Timothy, do not imitate the world, do not imitate evil. But that's what that's what someone like a Mike Todd likes to do, remember. Mike Todd is as worldly as they get. He is compromising. He clearly should not be in the pulpit. How you act is your fruit. Not how you pray, not how you believe, not how you worship. How you act is your fruit. So you cuss people out when you mad, that's your fruit. You cut people off when you feel disrespected, that's your fruit. I just need more grace, I just need more grace. But how you acted was your fruit. This is kind of heavy because most of us want to be able to act anyway, ask God for forgiveness and not bear the consequences of what we already produced. The Holy Spirit is done with people claiming him in public, but their actions do not line up. There's no. I agree with that totally. 
That's what actually the Bible says. It says, uh, by their fruits, you will know them. How you act is exactly your fruit. And that is something that I've been saying about for quite a while. So this kind of fruit uh, that uh, Pastor Mike Todd now shows us, I don't know now what he means. You know, I don't know what he means because he just shows us fruits that are not sometimes in line accordance to the scriptures but the bible says that we will know them by the fruits like for example you can see this uh, dance here that is going on this is actually in transformation church i don't know if it was a concert or whatever it was but this is happening in transformation church right there by pastor mike todd so i wonder the kind of transformation that is actually really going and on there so this one, uh, they shared this clip on their on their IG. They shared this clip on their IG. I don't know what they were trying to uh, announce or market with such kind of clip. Cause and say I thank crazy. you. Yeah. So uh, this is another clip. This is New Back Church by Pastor Jamal Bryan. Yeah, and just listen to this. That I'm a woman, but I'm wise. I'm gay, but I'm godly. godly. I'm straight, but I'm sensible. I'm an immigrant, but I'm industrious. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. So that guy just said that, I don't know who he is actually, but he's right there on the pulpit. You can see him right there at uh, New Back Church in the pulpit. I don't know if that's an assistant pastor or a senior pastor. I don't know. Because I see everyone is standing up when he took uh, that. But... The thing is, he's saying that he's gay and he loves Jesus so much. And he's, I don't know, he's saying that he's gay or something. I don't know why they are. You know, in Celestial's clip right there, you saw uh, he was uh, throwing and calling out Pastor Jamal on even allegations of gayism and stuff like that. But now, if you allow, if you allow such things on your pulpit, then it just raises I'm a lot gay. of questions. But I'm godly. godly. I'm straight, but I'm sensible. I'm an immigrant, but I'm industrious. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. God decided male and female. I, no, no, no. I'm not. This is not a bad. I need y'all to hear my heart on this. This is not a bashing. This is not a, he, if I was there, maybe I would have told him, is there something in the middle you could do? Like kind of a, like a little, maybe if somebody, well, I was born like this. I don't know how I feel. That I, I feel you. And I wish that there was an option of other in the kingdom. I, did that. I don't freaking know. I, no, honestly, I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. No, I'm serious. As a pastor, like, so what do you think about gay men? I don't know. It's the Lord's day. Yeah, so, <laughs> Mark Todd says he doesn't know and he's, I don't know, he should have gotten the scriptures so that he could be able to know, but since he doesn't like to get on the scriptures so definitely he doesn't know but right there is just a conversation that leaves it on a very neutral platform you know leaves that conversation just open he's saying maybe probably there could be a b c d you know hey i got my bible and i'm ready to hear the word my favorite is chinese food and ketchup <sighs> why are you so bothered who gonna clean it? Yeah, this is just a house of God. It's just a house. Just a house. Just a house. Who cares? <laughs> I lift my hands in the sanctuary. I lift my hands to give you the glory. I lift my hands to give praise. And we will praise you. Don't care so much. It's just a temple. Syrup all over the communion. Don't care so much. Over the Bible too. Y'all stop acting like you care about this. 
I mean, man, stop acting like this matters to you. On the picture, I need to do some artwork on the picture. Nope. Mm -mm. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet. But you hit. <laughs> Whoa. It might get nasty. Crazy, yo. And do you do you hear and see the responses of the people? All right, we going where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. That's where God wants to be, where the money resides, and it resides in your heart. How you act is your fruit, not how you pray, not how you believe, not how you worship. How you act is your root yeah so <laughs> it's a bit confusing with all the different actions you've seen you know but i'll say that pastor mike todd sometimes really sits up more like an entertainer and as much as the church is called transformation i'm not really sure on the kind of transformation that uh actually the pop the the, the whole in the whole transformation that people receive there because the bible is very clear about the type of transformation that the world of god needs to get you at you know god is very clear about his purpose god is very clear about his all agenda and sometimes let us never mistake entertainment rather than uh you know this motivational speaking and everything sometimes it is it is it it actually that is not the power bible says that did not come to you with a speech and all that but rather the demonstration of god's power because god's power is what brings that transformation bible says it is not by might nor by entertainment it's not by all these things but it is just simply by the spirit of god and then now we end up uh, uh in churches where right now we just want to make people happy we want to make people feel good but at the end of the day are we doing god's work really if we just sit back and ask ourselves yes people might be coming on sunday and we're doing all these actings people are laughing people are uh, clapping their hands and everything it's just pure theatrical entertainment but what impact really are we making in their lives what impact are we making are we uh, helping them to reach to be that person that Jesus said that they should go forth to the whole world and to win many for him because, you know, the time is near. Any time right now, uh, definitely it's going to be the end. So, so what type of transformation are we really transforming people with? With all these triatics, with all these, uh, uh, with all these entertainment, because let's just admit it, it's pure, most of it is just pure entertainment. And probably I saw someone say in the comment section that, you know, people right now are bored. People don't want just to sit and listen to God's word. People want to be entertained. Okay. Okay. So are we going to do that in that way? And then now, yes, they get entertained. Yes, they get to smile when they're there. But now once they leave that place, they just leave empty. You know, they just leave empty. They just leave empty. So. I'd like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Give the video a like as usual. Uh, stay blessed and see you on the next video.